welcome to the second stop on our six week journey through six countries in Europe. Today we find ourselves in the charming and often overlooked gem of Luxembourg. adventure in Luxembourg begins in its vibrant main square, bustling with life and surrounded by historic buildings that showcase Luxembourg's rich history. Then we visit St. John Church, a peaceful place in the heart of the city, perfect for quiet reflection. Next, we dove into the history of Luxembourg and learned more about the Bach casemates. We also came across a military hospital, highlighting Luxembourg's commitment to its armed forces and European defense. And just a bit further into the city, we found this beautiful palace which is guarded by the watchful eyes of those who serve. Finally, we return to another bustling square in the city where the vibrant energy of the city surrounds us. just arrived at one of the main squares in Luxembourg city and the vibes are so nice. It really looks like you're going back in time with a bit of the medieval kind of vibe that you have here. You really see a beautiful church, you see the cathedral behind me, uh, a nice statue here and yeah it looks, uh, it looks very promising. So even though Luxembourg is one of the smallest countries of the world, it's also one of the most wealthy countries of the world. Like the minimum wage here is around 2,500 euro, which is quite high. And that makes also the quality of living pretty good. In Luxembourg, they speak three languages, well actually four, but the three main languages are German, French and Luxembourgish. And of course, everybody here speaks English pretty well too. And yeah, it's just such a small country. Half of the population is actually from Luxembourg and the other half are foreigners. So far we visited the main square and the church and now we're heading to a different spot. What's so cool about this country is that their public transportation is free because it's a wealthy country and they have a lot of money. <laughs> and they care a lot about the environment so they make public transportation free. So lots of people use public transportation and that's why you don't see a lot of uh, traffic jams and not a lot of cars because everyone uses buses and trains. Fun fact about Luxembourg is that it only has one city, its capital city, which is called Luxembourg City. So we're heading now down there to the actual village that is below. The whole kingdom is super big, super nice. Also you can see uh, like a previous picture of how it was and now how it is. This used to be the military hospital from 1863 until 1866. So we are here at this point. And this was a military base until the end of the 17th century. So this area behind me is still the same. This used to be the gate where you enter. We used it actually to come here. And these are like just a tunnel over the river. And yeah, they're basically still the same from day when, when they were built until now. And it's so nice to see that they're still standing. And look how huge the borders of the whole kingdom kind of. Now we are all kind of inside of one of the parts. We're walking now, crossing the bridge to the other side over the water. And now we're gonna enter that section over here. Imagine all of these over here are where it used to be the guarding area where soldiers used to stand here and fight with like the arrows and yeah, so many old stuff. It's so nice to know that history and uh, yeah, it's just so beautiful. Here are some small maps that show the whole area right here. 
and it also shows how they used to live and dress and yeah like here playing table how they used to dress and super nice here you see also the whole uh, kingdom again and here you see more like a military section how they used to yeah teach them how to fight even though they are like small kids with uh, yeah small weapons probably like hunting weapons and yeah here how they used to defend so this this area behind me is actually linked to that how they used to defend it here you see like people defending that area right here and here how they used to work in the mines and here how they used to fight with big heavy weapons here how they used to pray this is like the christian section kind of how they used to dress super cool to see that here and lots of it doesn't exist anymore and lots of parts still exist like those big towers that were surrounding the whole uh, kingdom and uh, yeah so basically this is a church it used to be a church until the 17 the end of the 17th century and most of these were different things like now they're just buildings of different stuff but they used to be like this is a church and the one behind like a military a hospital and yeah lots of uh, houses and uh, whole buildings have changed throughout the history until like the end of the 17th century they became something else the village here the castle like the whole kingdom was founded in 963 so it's like a, a th oh, thousand one hundred years old almost i'm unable to fly the drone here so the first part of luxembourg where i actually filmed with the drone i was able to fly completely with no problems but uh, once we enter this section where there are like the castles and there is like a military zone there and flying zone I'm not able to fly my drone, it doesn't allow me like I do not have authorization to fly so uh, yeah, again this is Saint Michel church it used to be now we're gonna visit and see if it's still active it looks so beautiful in here so peaceful and people are so nice and also people here are mixed locals and foreigners with nice fashion style There's a life I lead in this city Hurry in to cup my tea I can take what I need to get by It doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart moves slow Somewhere in the great unknown When I return from the afterglow Will you carry me like I am holy? Ducks are struggling with the current of the water, it's so strong. But look at the houses here behind me, how cool and how cute they look like. Like the style is so unique. Funny thing, the country public transportation are free and we haven't used it <laughs> at all. Because actually it's so small to walk around it. And we just parked the camper van literally like next to the city center. And it's like five minute or seven minute walk. And it's Sunday so it's actually free parking. And it's so easy to find parking around. And during the weekdays the parking are only like one euro per hour. Which is not so expensive compared to Europe. at the second main square this is in the middle of old town this is the place to be of luxembourg city where lots of events are being hosted usually and it looks so cute it looks like a really old town it's also protected by unesco but at the same time the buildings here looks pretty new actually so it's super interesting and i really love here the church and the cathedral and even the palace it looks super old school there's still this guy marching in front of the palace uh, yeah which really gives the vibe of how it used to be
So we had a stop and we ate at a really nice restaurant. It was, yeah, nothing so special, but the food was so great. All bunch of salads and all bunch of grills. Some of them made Mediterranean food and the sausing was so, so delicious. We're heading back to the camper now and we're about to leave this beautiful country onto our next destination. If you are enjoying this video so far, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you're new here to join us on our amazing journey. After good food, now I can tell you some more information about the country. So uh, Luxembourg is actually one third of the country is still nature, like forest and parks everywhere in the country, which is so cool because yeah, they show how much they care about the environment and one third of the country is still green. Uh, it's also very important for the European Union because the main justice court exists here in Luxembourg and also the central bank investment of Europe also exists here. And because it's one of the smallest country in the world, you see basically the airplanes flying all over the city, the only city that they have, uh, very close to you, which is so beautiful. All right, that's it for today's video and see you in the next time in France.